Tonight on that teen shot and killed at a Valley group home. Arizona's family's been looking into reports of the problems at the North Star group home, including safety concerns reported by staff there. Well, today state lawmakers grilled DCS to find out what happened. Jason Berry's live in our newsroom tonight with the new developments there. Jason. Well, the Phoenix group home has come under intense scrutiny after that deadly shooting involving two teenage residents. Today, state lawmakers held an oversight hearing at the state capitol to get to the bottom of what happened. We need to have accountability at all levels. State lawmakers made it clear from the start. They want to know why 18-year-old Travance Sales was shot and killed at a Phoenix group home earlier this month. During an oversight hearing at the state capitol Thursday, State Senator Nancy Barto read an email from a former employee of North Star Independent Living Services, alleging widespread dysfunction and lack of control. The youth involved in North Star have open access to the community, substance uses such as drugs and alcohol, regular theft on campuses, regular violence on campus, weapons such as guns and knives, and don't have access to behavioral health care. In hindsight, again, all of the tough questions were directed at Mike Faust, director of Arizona's Child Protective Services, who provided new insight into what happened. According to Faust, some guns and drugs were found on the property September 3rd, and Phoenix police were called out. Apparently, the victim was removed from the home at 19th Avenue and Mountain View Road, but came back in the middle of the night and was shot and killed. Despite being discharged from the group home, the victim returns to the property in the middle of the night and is subsequently shot and killed with another stolen weapon. Some lawmakers are wondering why the group home hasn't been shut down. The CPS director said an investigation is still underway to determine if the incident could have been prevented and who's to blame. He laid out a number of changes to be made at the facility, everything from added security to a review of all youth cases. The youth we're talking about in this particular episode, the, 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 the actual murder of a child, are not indicative of the 11,600 kids in foster care. They're not. North Star recently sent us a statement saying the safety of the young adults in their care is their top priority and they are fully cooperating with law enforcement on the investigation. In the newsroom, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.